Okay, so this last episode really pissed me off because they wasted a lot of time arguing, but the shit was low key funny. And I really don't know why everybody think they can just beat Anna because she little, because I'm not, I feel like she didn't prove herself. She would get in the field with any of y'all. But what did kind of confuse me is how Tzatziki was he he ha ha with Anna for Roly, but she didn't like do anything for Mariah Lynn. But that's another, another conversation for another day. Like, this is literally how Tzatziki was when they was fighting Mariah Lynn and um, Asian Doll. So it's giving you not really her friend, but. Nobody likes to talk about Tzatziki because everybody feels like she's just such an eater and nobody can do nothing to Tzatziki, so I get it. But this look right here, it ate. Like, when I say it ate, I was like, oh, I love seeing her like this. I love this confessional look, but that's just off topic. But on to Meatball, I'm really tired of her. Like, I really hope they don't bring her back next season. Not a fan, not a fan, not a fan at all. She always got something to say. She really thinks she big back Billy, and it's just giving your lane. Like, I really wish Diamond would have just, you know, gave her a two-piece real quick because Meatball is always running her mouth for Tinka, and Tinka Bell really don't be worried about Meatball, if you ask me. And no, I do not believe they sisters. They probably, like, God sisters or something, but I don't think they got no type of, like, blood together. And to be honest, I really don't feel like Tinka Bell beat up DTB. Like, I don't feel like she just whooped her ass or nothing like that. They may have had a good fight. You know, Tinka had some, you know, better viral moments than DTB during their fighting sessions. But she didn't just, like, whoop her ass. So I feel like Meebaugh was just doing too much. But I was so proud of my girl, DTB. Like, I was mad at her last episode for taking off on Bianca. I feel like Mariah Lynn ain't gonna fight for you. So why are you trying to fight for her? No matter what Mariah Lynn say, I feel like Mariah Lynn fell out with all her friends. Like, she just fake. But other than that, like, I feel like DTB is, like, a real chill, cool girl. Not chill. She's not chill. But she's very much real. Like, I feel like she don't give a fuck. She's not going to sugarcoat it. And that's what I love about her. But Slim Bad trying to, like, you know, fight her. I'm so glad DTB ate her ass up, okay? DTB was like, girl, I'm not trying to fuck up my wig. But she got in the field anyway. She took that wig off herself and said, let's go. And ate Slim ass up. Like, she really was, like, the weakest link outside of Dia. And I'm going to get on her in just a minute. But, like, she really was the weakest link. She did all that trying to run behind Natalie, trying to be all hee-hee-ha-ha in people's face. But you didn't get picked. You have no personality. You don't. You didn't bring nothing to the table besides a bad body. And I love how Natalie and them was kind of, like, buttering her up and having her feeling like she was that girl but got sent home. And now she got really sent home for the little weak-ass shit she did trying to take up on DTB. But she didn't try to take up on Meatball. And her even walking up on her was just mad weak. But she still didn't do nothing, but she was so ready to fight DTB. Like, for real. All those other girls that said they didn't want you there, um, Anna, Jayla, Meatball, they were standing so much closer to you, but you still chose to fight DTB. That's some lame-ass shit. Now, I really think she thought she was going to fight her way to stay in the house, but she still got beat up and sent home. So that's another story for the next episode. But Dia, like, how do y'all really feel about her? I feel like she really felt like she was going to skate through this whole baddie season just because she's from the Caribbean. And I feel like you didn't represent well. Like, you're from the Caribbean and still got molly whopped all through the Caribbean. <laughs> Not through the Caribbean, but y'all know what I mean. Like, she didn't do nothing. Like, she, yeah, she got in the field, she fought, but she lost every time. And I feel like, honestly, she didn't get a fair chance because it took her, what, a whole episode or two to even get back with the girl because she had to travel to all them other countries first. And then she sat up there and let Biggie check her about talking about the replacements. Not even talk about the replacements, but even feeling like, feeling some type of way about being a replacement and going back to replacement house. Like, girl, you let Biggie shut you up and we all know Biggie can't fight. It's honestly way too many girls to be wasting their time with Dia. Like, yeah, send her ass home. And to be honest, I'm ready to see some new girls. Like, it's not enough action going on. Like, for my 599, they need to be busting each other in the head. I'm just saying. I'm ready to see how Big Kiva and J-O or J-Lo, whatever her name is, going to, like, fit into the mix now that Roly and Anna is there. Because I feel like there's a lot of strong, masculine energy out of all these girls. And it's giving the replacements kind of want to replace the, the OGs. That's just my opinion. But what y'all think? Do y'all think they should have sent Slim Bad and Dia home this last episode? Or should they keep them and just bring in some new girls? Let me know in the comments.